Hello everyone, so I've just walked into Dollar Tree and the ribbon, or yes, this ribbon is pretty well stocked here, I'd say. They have a good selection. They had a couple boxes. It is going quick, so if you see it, grab what you like. Yay! I was actually hoping I'd find these. I love this gray. I think the little white hearts on it are really cute. And they have some little wood pieces. And not something I can really work with. They have lots of stickers here. I shared those with you in my previous walkthrough. I feel like these are from Christmas, but I don't recall seeing this gift card holder. I like the white bow on it, actually. It's cute. And then they have the velvety boxes up top. They have some of their boxes and the little metal pieces are very limited. You can see the little envelopes and trucks. I'm actually going to grab some more of the wood hearts, but there are some little kits here. And these would be really nice for a garland. They have different styles here. I like these ones better. They have a little stickers, but look at all the garden supplies that are out now. Oh, look at the little blue camper. You can easily paint it. These two, you can paint. You don't have to keep them the same color. I did a kind of like a plaster effect on the birds last year and it turned out really well. They also are starting to get their garden tins. So there's a ton of Valentine's Day cards here that I actually miss sharing with you. So here they are. I was expecting a lot of last year's things like to repeat themselves this year, but nope, they have new things. So a lot of little garden accessories if you're into fairy making or just as a side decor piece or tiered trays. I know a lot of you have like the farmhouse to your tray, so something like this would be super cute on it. And you can paint them or keep them this color depending on your decor, but oh my gosh, they're just so sweet. Look at the little ones. Oh, there it must be stuck in here. I'm gonna put it down so I can share with you. Oh, I'm so surprised. Look at this. Little blue, the little blue truck. A little red truck oh these are so cute and a little tractor these are new this year and they are little heart silicone molds has anyone tried them are they good quality Let's take a look at some of the garden stuff because they were putting out the floral. Some of the picks are here. Just wanted to share with you. So these are just being put out almost like a berry and then the flowers as well because I know a lot of you like to make arrangements or wreaths with these. These are new. They're games in like a bag. I'm not sure what the quality is on them. I have to say Dollar Tree's pretty good with their little banks, like piggy banks. They're just a little more creative than the traditional piggy bank. Nothing new here. Looks like all their, yeah, the floral stuff, or what is it called? Like the dry floral stuff is just the standard colors. We'll go down quickly to the garden slash wreath making supplies and also the little trinkets i always like looking at the trinkets not that i need any more trinkets at all i feel like these are new they're just frame pieces of paper with writing on them but they are fairly new so you can take out the writing and use it as a square frame of course just metal wreaths i know some of you always ask there are some of these they're back but the metal wreaths there's a few options here oh this is new I don't think I've seen this before. Or maybe I have. Sometimes you forget things after a while. So there's the star. Oh, this one is larger, as you can see in size here. 
Ja. Oh, these are back. They actually do such a great job at duping glass, but they're plastic. So they trick your eye for sure. They still have a few of the color forms board games up top there on the shelf. And they have some new dress up stuff for the kiddos. So I always like that. They have the wood heart right now. That usually only comes out around this time of year because usually they have the star and the floral. These are fantastic if you use glue tape runners. And here's the star, I don't know if I should grab one. I'm really glad to see that all the paints are fully stocked because for a little while we were pretty bare shelf. How are your craft supplies, like the paper, the paint, see? We have pretty much all the colors. For a little while, we didn't have any white. This is one area that I have to be a little more mindful in sharing and filming for you guys because I know, oh, they have some wood up top because I know some of you really appreciate seeing the books and the coloring books. So for 2022, I'm going to make a bigger effort and not all my stores have books like this at all the time. So this store is well stocked right now, to be honest with you, but it's not always like this at all the stores. They have a ton of vinyl out right now, along with metal pieces, if you're into making your own signs. But I just wanted to share with you some of these giant vinyl pieces. Like this one's a glittery finish, but it's nice and solid. It's hard to describe. It doesn't have fallout. I think that's what I'm trying to say. Oh, by the way, has anyone tried this and does it dry well? I've been thinking about playing with it. Hmm. Is this a brand name? pop art. This is the first time I'm noticing. It has a little paint by numbers. Everything is very well stocked here. You can see a lot of the wood cutouts, the canvas boards, pipe cleaners. The wall decal stickers are fully stocked which is really nice to see because I know that these are popular. And they have some sticker packages. Look at all the Crayola stuff. I love this store because they organize all their Crayola in one section and I think it's brilliant. Let's keep an eye out in your craft aisle for tools. Stella Tree always has some really neat tools. And sometimes you'll find items from Michaels. Like these are from Re the Recollection brand that they have. So you have to kind of like look through things, take your time. Look, there's pom-pom makers, two in a pack for the smaller one. There's new markers that are supposed to work in your Cricut or Silhouette machine, like the cutting machines. Anyways, I always like browsing, taking my time, seeing what's new and available. Lots of stickers. I know you guys are probably like, oh my gosh, you always show stickers, but this is an amazing sticker cap here or end cap or wall unit i really like coming down the cleaning aisles because the cleaning aisle because sometimes they have the valletta brand and that is something that you would pay a lot at another retail store so just like looking this is new to me and i have not tried it if anyone else has maybe you can give some feedback just laundry detergent Just, I like checking to see if they have any new cleaning supplies. There's some wipes. A lot of this stuff has increased in price at our stores. I'm a huge Vim cream fan, and I'm wondering what these re refill packs are. 
like I used to buy the wizard sometimes but now with the price increase I have not well stocked so they have the eyelash yarn and the regular yarn and I'm looking at this pink one I feel like I bought it already but I think that this would be really pretty for Valentine's Day, like a mix with the pink and the gray decor or natural wood. I have some planning to do. So Westcott scissors, which they normally carry once in a while is well stocked, is a great brand for scissors and a good price. Also this time of year is a good time to look for planners or like budget planning, fitness things, new types of planners. Like here's something that's new. Now this is reusable, which is fantastic and saves the planet, but I don't really love the layout. Look what I found. My daughter is showcasing it here. I hope you enjoyed walking through Dollar Tree with me today. I do have some more footage from the store to share with you, and I hope to post that tomorrow. Until next time, everyone, have a wonderful day, and thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.